Today I'm making fajita tacos and I'll show you a simple recipe for guacamole. It's gonna be good. So last year I did a video for carne asada or fajitas marinade and here I was using one pound of beef skirt and one pound of chicken breast. The marinade I used for two pounds of meat is here. I'll list it here and in the description below. Today I'm only going to be doing a half recipe, but what you'll want to do is create your marinade and you'll place your meat in a large dish. I also use Ziploc baggies, storage baggies, and you'll want to dredge and coat it in your marinade. There's so many ways to add aromatics to this, but I'm just keeping it simple. And the ratios in the marinade are definitely up to you as well. So here's what I marinated last night. This is actually tenderized flank steak, I believe, and it's one pound. Now the marinade that I gave you earlier is good for two pounds of meat. So anyways, I'm ready to cook this. So I've preheated my pan. If you're doing this outside on the grill, that works. A griddle, it definitely works. So I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of cooking oil, and now I'm going to add the meat. And I also scored the meat as well. Now the cook time for the meat is definitely up to you because I know there are people that like medium rare, rare, but my son prefers well done to sometimes overdone. He likes it cooked through. So that's what I'm doing today. So definitely cook to your desired doneness. So I'm gonna flip it over, just continue cooking. So here I've placed it on a baking sheet and all I'm going to do is place the other baking sheet on top. It sort of makes this hot box. It will continue cooking by the way, but I want to let it rest for at least 15 minutes. And then after it rests, I'm just going to slice into it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I make the guacamole. So here I have two avocados. These are small avocados, one lime, one Roma tomato, a small piece of onion. I might not actually use all of that. I have one pretty decent sized jalapeno and it's up to you how much spice you want in this. So if you want really spicy, serrano pepper is, you know, you could use that. I have one clove of garlic. This is an average to large size garlic. And I have a bunch of fresh cilantro. Okay, so I chopped all my ingredients, so now going in with my two small avocados. I'm gonna put these in my bowl. You're just going to mash your avocado. You could also cut this into small chunks or large chunks and leave some of it chunky. And just put that right in there. Tomato, jalapeno, cilantro, by the way, for my cilantro people that taste soap, you can exclude the onion and cilantro in this and to give it kind of like that leafy green color to your guacamole, you could add scallions, the whites and the greens of the scallion, just chop it. That's also a good alternative. That's for my people that taste soap. <laughs> We're gonna do some salt, some cracked pepper, and the juice of one small to medium lime. Now give it a mix. And that is it. My fajita tacos are going to be garnished with this mix of fresh Roma tomato and about four scallions, the whites and greens, and that's it. You can garnish and top your tacos however you like. I'm going for simple and fresh today. Now this guacamole my husband made, so he made it extra smushy with some extra lime in it. but. Like I always say, the ratios of seasoning, spices, or ingredients, it's up to you and your preference. So, I also managed to make some homemade fresh flour tortillas. I will link the recipe video below for that. I have several videos on my channel. For those of you that follow me know that I have made several videos for these. And you can also use corn tortillas if you prefer. I do that sometimes. But my meat is sliced and I'm ready to make tacos. Thank you. 
I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching!